Hey y'all, gather around because we've got some sizzling Dallas Cowboys drama heating up the gridiron. Picture this. Dak Prescott might be on the chopping block if Jerry Jones can't seal a new deal before the season kicks off. Yep, you heard that right. With CeeDee Lamb's hefty new contract adding fuel to the fire, is Dak's time running out? And what's this about Shadur Sanders and Trey Lance possibly stepping into the spotlight? Plus, veteran back Dalvin Cook is itching for a comeback and looking to prove he's still got game. But wait, there's more. Will the Cowboys scoop up Alan Lazard or roll with their emerging stars? Buckle up, because this season's shaping up to be a wild ride. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel Dallas Cowboys News NFL. Today, we're diving into a hot topic that's got everyone in Dallas talking. Could this season be Dak Prescott's last run with the Cowboys? Yep, you heard it right. According to the always insightful K.A. Adams, there's a real chance Jerry Jones might decide to part ways with Dak if they can't nail down a new contract before the season kicks off. That's right, folks, things are getting intense in Cowboys country. K. Adams, host of Up and Adams, has raised some eyebrows by suggesting that Jerry Jones is feeling the heat over Prescott's postseason performance, or lack thereof. Even though Adams praises Dak's on-field skills, she's stunned that we're even talking about this. It seems like Jerry's patience might be wearing thin, especially after C.D. Lamb landed one of the biggest paychecks in the league, which could be adding to the tension for Prescott. So, buckle up, Cowboys fans, this season is shaping up to be one for the books. Stay tuned as we keep you updated on the latest Dallas Cowboys news and see how this drama unfolds. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop. Alright, let's dive into this Dallas Cowboys drama. If Prescott doesn't get that new contract, we might be staring down a situation where Micah Parsons sticks around, but Dak's out the door. Names like Shatter Sanders and Trey Lance are already popping up as possible replacements. The heat is on, y'all. Dak Prescott has been a solid player since 2016, but his playoff performance has been a letdown. Sure, he's made the playoffs three times, but advancing past the divisional round has eluded him. That 2-5 playoff record is hanging over the team's head, and if Dak hits the free agent market, he could be the hottest quarterback in NFL history. Teams like the New York Giants, New York Jets, and LA Rams would be chomping at the bit to sign him if he's available. It'd be a wild ride. Adams has made it clear, Dak's got one last shot every game, every minute, to turn things around. If not, he'll become the most coveted free agent quarterback ever. Plus, The Athletic recently pointed the finger at Jerry Jones for the mess. One agent claims the Cowboys aren't ready to fork out the $60 million Prescott might ask for. With stars like Lamb, Parsons, and Prescott all gunning for top dollar contracts, it's clear that some tough decisions are on the horizon for the Cowboys. The drama is thick, and the stakes are high. Should the Dallas Cowboys cut ties with Dak Prescott and chase a new direction, or do y'all reckon Dak's got the grit to lead us all the way to the Super Bowl? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Now, let's talk about Dalvin Cook. This veteran running back ain't ready to hang up his cleats just yet. After a rough 2023 season with the New York Jets, where he barely racked up 214 yards on 67 carries, Cook's been itching to prove he's still got game. He had a brief and not-so-glorious stint with the Baltimore Ravens during the playoffs, but he's got his sights set on a comeback with the Dallas Cowboys. Cook's been given a shot to join the Cowboys practice squad, and he's looking to show that he can still be a game-changer. The Cowboys know their running back core needs some depth, especially with injuries being a constant threat in the NFL. Cook's role will be more of a backup now, ready to step in if one of the primary backs, like Ezekiel Elliott or Rico Dowdle, gets sidelined. While he's no longer in the spotlight to lead the team, Cook's ready to show he's got that extra gear when the team needs him. With a career full of seasons over 1,000 yards and a couple of Pro Bowl nods under his belt, Cook had his prime years with Mike Zimmer. Well, folks, it looks like the Cowboys are shaking things up with some big moves. The newest addition to the Dallas defensive lineup is none other than Zimmer, and he played a huge part in Dalvin Cook's decision to join the team. Cook, who's been through the grind of the NFL, acknowledges that his career has seen its share of wear and tear. But he's taken a fresh approach to his training and recovery, both on the field and off. In this rugged game of American football, running backs like Cook push their limits. However, as time passes, it becomes clear that taking care of your body off the field is just as crucial. 
Cooks found that a new routine has been key to staying in top shape. That's what keeps me on my game, Cook shared. Beyond the gridiron, Cook's got extra motivation at home. His little one, Dalvin Jr., just celebrated his first birthday, and Cook's determined to set a solid example for him. Dalvin Cook's got a shot to make it onto the Cowboys' active roster a few times this season, and if he proves he's still got the chops, Dallas might just sign him for good. This is his chance to show that his career is far from over. And let's not forget the big news on the offensive side of things. The Cowboys just secured their star receiver, C.D. Lamb, with a whopping four-year extension worth $136 million. This isn't just a win for the team's aerial attack, it also means that Lamb and quarterback Dak Prescott will keep their deadly connection going strong. With Lamb coming off a stellar season, he's set to be Prescott's top target, ensuring that this dynamic duo will continue to give defenses a run for their money. Even with a solid signing on the roster, a burning question lingers, should the Cowboys beef up their receiving core even more? The Dallas Cowboys aerial attack is already top-notch, showcasing key players like Brandon Cooks and Jake Ferguson who are set to make big plays again this season. Cooks, with his veteran savvy and field-stretching ability, is a constant threat. Meanwhile, Ferguson's versatility makes him a dependable target for Prescott. But hold on, the story doesn't end here. Up-and-coming stars are reaching for their shot. Jalen Tolbert, for instance, has been turning heads in training camp, positioning himself as a strong candidate for that third receiver spot. His impressive performance has the coaches feeling confident about his potential to step up in the offense. Yet, despite this promising young talent, some NFL experts, like Bill Barnwell from ESPN, suggest the Cowboys might still need more depth at receiver, especially with the season looming large. Barnwell throws out an intriguing idea, Dallas exploring a trade for Alan Lazard of the New York Jets. Lazard, who first joined the Green Bay Packers back in 2018 during Mike McCarthy's final year there, has a bit of familiarity with McCarthy's system. Although their overlap was minimal, this connection might smooth his transition if a trade happens. Plus, with the Jets potentially open to covering part of Lazard's contract, a fresh start could benefit everyone involved. Hey y'all! The Dallas Cowboys are in a bit of a pickle when it comes to their receiver lineup. Adding Alan Lazard would definitely give a boost to Dallas' receiving core, but with C.D. Lamb recently locked in, the urgency to grab another top-tier receiver isn't as pressing. Now, there's a little buzz around Brandon Cooks and his bothersome knee. While our man Mike Fisher has been keeping tabs and reports that Cooks has been practicing at the Stars' facilities, the coaches aren't hitting the panic button just yet. They see it as a minor hiccup rather than something that'll shake up their game plan. Let's not forget the young guns on the squad. Jalen Tolbert, Jalen Brooks, and Ryan Flaherty have been showing some serious promise. Tolbert, in particular, is making waves and looks set to solidify his spot before the preseason wraps up. That's some solid progress and speaks volumes about his potential impact. But hey, the NFL's a wild ride, and things can shift in a heartbeat. If one of the key players on the receiver depth chart goes down, the Cowboys might have to rethink their strategy and seriously consider bringing in a seasoned pro like Lazard to shore up their ranks. For now, they're banking on the talent they've got, with Lamb secured and a blend of seasoned vets and up-and-coming stars ready to make their mark. The big question remains, will this strategy be enough to push them to the top, or might we see Alan Lazard donning a Cowboys jersey by season's end? What's your take? Should the Cowboys keep rolling with the young talent, or is it time to bring in some extra experience? Drop your thoughts in the comments, share your opinions, and don't forget to subscribe for the latest Dallas Cowboys news and insider analysis.